Welcome back to Walletopia. Glad to have you here. Go to Walletopia Info, register, subscribe, do all the things we always ask you to do and that everybody else does who has a YouTube channel. But anyway, today we're gonna look at the Dango S1 Stealth Wallet. It's a slim wallet, so let's get into it. The S1 is part of their Stealth series. And the one thing I always like about the Dango products is their continuity of packaging. They always have this nice metal box here. And what's nice is this metal box can be used for other things after you pull your product out. So here we go. This is the Stealth uh, version here. This one's Stealth. I'll pull this out here. It's a, oh, sorry, it comes out the top, looks like. Nice card. All right. Let us take a quick look here. Nice texture to it. It's made out of their DTEX material, which we'll talk a little about. Very thin. Put together well. Very flexible, too. Which you sometimes really like, especially when you want it to conform to your pocket. Great. Now into the feature review of the Dango S1 Stealth Wallet. It has a small pocket here in the front where you can put a key, you can put an SD card, whatever you like there. And then from the top, you've got yet another card slot here. That card slot uh, can take, again, one, two or more cards, which we'll test. And on the side, we have an opening here where likely you can put your cash, other cards in here, which is nice. And then on the back, you have a, another card slot here. Put cards in from the top, but there is also a side entry in here something quick, uh, cash, whatever you might want to put in there. It has a D-loop here at the top to be able to allow you to attach lanyards, cords, you know, a chain for security, for permit pickpocketing, that kind of thing. And it uh, does handle the Dango multi-tools. And so the multi-tools uh, can fit into either of these pockets here or in the side, actually, uh, that they provide. So it does take up space when you use a multi-tool, but it does provide you that capability in this particular wallet. And that is a review of the features of the S1 Stealth Wallet. Now onto the card and cash insertion test. So you saw we got uh, six cards in there just fine and a key. Uh, and cash-wise, you can see how it gets in there, just barely pokes its its uh, face out there. I removed the two cards from the interior slot here and just put in cash. And you can see that it gets in there just barely, just kind of peeks out there. So I'm not sure if that bothers you or not. But obviously, if you fold it over twice, you can get it in there just fine. Same thing with, with foreign currencies. So you also noticed to uh, put a key in there, uh, great slot, or for you know SD cards, really anything that can fit in there. It's not just specifically for one or two of those things. Whatever you can do and put in there will look nice and will work well. Now the company uh, does recommend up to six cards with a maximum of nine. Now this uh, really is is uh, nicely made. It's made from DTEX material. It has a great texture to it. Now when I first heard of DTEX, I was confused because I was thinking that because that's what's used as a measurement of unit for artificial grass. And, and it looks like somebody's got a lot more going on here. Man, I can't hear what's going on. Okay, all right. <clears throat> looks like they finished that up, but oh, wait a minute. You don't mow artificial grass, do you? What? Wait, okay, anyway. Back to the wallet. Now, the hang tag uh, is a nylon here. This red piece is nylon with this metal D-loop, which is nice. Now, the DTEX itself, it is water resistant, scratch resistant, very flexible, as you can see here, and can take a lot of abuse. So it uh, does have RFID. Yeah, it's, it's RFID in the interior here. That's all right. The price is 35 bucks. Very reasonable. Now the flexibility of this DTEX really makes it easy to use as a wallet. And this texture, honestly, is quite satisfying to the touch. Now I wish there was a way to remove this D-loop as a way to make it even more stealthy. But, uh, you know, it's something that you can, you can put up with. It measures 5 by 2.83 by 0.4. It is a little longer uh, than usual, but uh, it uh, weighs 25 grams, which is fine. And from a perception perspective, 
It's a simple a slim wallet with expandable options with a multi-tool that you can get from Dango. And with up to nine cards and even putting cash in there, this is very a very durable minimalist wallet. It is a nice lighter option than the other heavy metal pieces that you get from Dango. And so it's a, it's a, it's a great little product. I really like this. So now let's get to the final score. For quality of four, price of three, features of four, usability of three, and perception of four, which gives us a final score of 36 out of 50. Take a look. Dango, of course, is known for all their metal-based uh, wallets, but uh, this is a great option. Look at the notes below. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, bye.